my favorite part is taking what is typically regarded as a child's medium and something that is used at home and putting it in a larger public uh, commercial light. It started as a hobby uh, nearly 17 years ago. I'd been buying sets for my nephews and uh, instead of passing one of those sets on I just kept it. <laughs> <laughs> so I started building more and more and uh, pretty soon I find myself building trains, building buildings and uh, all kinds of little fun art pieces and there was just a natural progression. Some of the trains can feature some unique features. Uh, a unique uh, wheel arrangement, uh, kind of a three wheel arrangement and the center wheel uh, allows for some shifting and sliding. So the challenge is, yes, can you create a thing of beauty using pieces that everybody is familiar with or everybody has access to? And a lot of times you're almost working as a magician. You're creating an illusion with Lego. Uh, and that might be in just simple things you're building, taking very simple pieces, maybe from a Star Wars or a Harry Potter set or one of the other uh, licensed Lego sets, and you're, you're using those in a new light, in a new arrangement, uh, sometimes in a way that nobody else has done before, you're building an original expression out of it. Sometimes that's a real challenge. Mm -hmm.